Tamara Basic Tees here, and this week I'm going to show you how to make a triangle top. So let's go. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be at the serger. And I just like everything to look like it's stitched and clean. So I just sew a serger stitch on the bottom part of the triangle top. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the inside pieces at the top. And they're going to be opposite. Um, I've trained people and they forget to make it opposite and then it's all janky in the end. So you're going to sew them on like this on either side and don't forget that I do a half an inch over at the top and the bottom on all my piping pieces so it gets cut off later so that it looks better. So this is and then so you're just going to do a stay stitch and sew it down. So we've surged the bottom and we've done a stay stitch, so we're going to go over to the cover stitch machine or the zigzag zag machine. So now we're at the cover stitch machine or you could also use a zigzag machine and you're just going to wrap the piping piece around, make sure it's real tight, and then you're just going to sew them together. Um, don't forget I have the napkin or um, a piece of fabric to help kind of tug it so it doesn't get stuck. So now that that part's done, we're going to pin the piping pieces to the opposite side of the triangle top and move back to the serger machine to do a stay stitch. So I have pinned the piping pieces on each side so it's even um, on both of them because you're going to pull them when you put them through. That's why there's that little gather or a pucker is when you put the stay stitch in you're going to pull on it and I pinned them both exactly the same on both sides. So let's do a stay stitch. So I've done a stay stitch on both sides of the triangle top and we're going to move over to the cover stitch or the zigzag machine. So now I'm over here at the cover stitch or the zigzag machine and we're just going to sew these piping pieces on both sides of the triangle top and while I'm at it I've got a long string um, that's going to be the string that ties under the bust area so I'm going to do that too. That'll be the last thing we do on this machine. Now the finishing stitch is going to be on a straight stitch machine. If you're on a zigzag machine, just switch it over to a straight stitch and I've got to move over to the straight stitch machine. So now we're at the straight stitch machine and we're just going to make it so that there's a loop at the bottom that, to put the string through. So you're just going to fold it over and go back and forth on the stitch. And you can really manipulate and pull the stretchy fabric as you go. Um, I think a lot of people miss this. You, you just need to move the stretchy fabric the way you want it to be. So let, here we go. So I'm kind of tugging on the fabric the whole entire time that I am making that loop at the bottom. So your triangle top is all finished now, except for you have to put the string through the bottom. I used to use a safety pin, and somebody years ago showed me this handy little tool that you can buy at the fabric store. Not really sure what it's called, but you just string it through the bottom. And it's got a handy little hook that you connect to the bottom string and then it'll flip up and kind of hold it and then you can pull it through. So there is your completed triangle top.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a triangle top. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm wishing everybody a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And until next time, stay sexy. Bye.